What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Stationeers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we finally managed to get our. Um, let's see, what's this one? Two. Uh, it's, can do five. I only need. I think I'm going to do six of these. Caution. This is the problem, though, hence why I'm making hydropod. I really don't know if I'm actually going to be able to survive long enough to do this. Because I keep starving, and I've just eaten through, like, a ton of my food already. Um, one, two, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we don't need any more than that. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else to do, because, like, I've got eggs and corn and stuff but yeah um so there's a couple of things that we need to do one is we don't really have much of this stuff to begin with so we only have five of each of these things i think um now i could do with probably wheat i think i watched a couple of videos online about um how you can go about doing was it construction kit this is the electronics printer i don't think kit airlock there's one for furniture but i don't know if i have the actual device to make it uh, kit construction kit shoot door furnace I think I need a different machine, like a, um, I think I need something else. Because you can do, I saw a video online where you can do furniture and then you can do a reagent um, station and a microwave to take stuff like wheat and turn it into, like, um, yeah, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, I think we can turn this off for now. And we'll turn this back on and get the room filled back up. I had to uh, vent the room again because um, I was smelting up some stuff. And so then it ended up doing... Oh, we can stack these. Cool. I'm just going to go ahead and put these in here for now. Um, but yeah, so we have a bit of an issue on our hands, and that is food. I'm, I might actually turn off the food hunger thing just for now. Uh, because I really didn't, like, see it coming kind of thing. Like, they didn't, I didn't know that it was going to be that big of an impact, and I didn't have it all implemented before. Because um, I didn't bother implementing it because a lot of places were like, eh, it, it, you know, the game doesn't use food yet. So, yeah. Didn't really, um, didn't really do that. And now I was just kind of starving to death. So I'm going to, I'm going to go as long as I can, but I already burn through all the cereal bars so I don't really have a whole lot of options unless dying will respawn me and then I can just come back and get my stuff maybe so we'll pr I'll probably save it like right before I die that's probably what I'll do anyways so we need um a hydroponic setup I think and I'm gonna probably end up having to do some resource hunting to be honest because we're getting kind of low on virtually everything at this point, oh, we have a... This is the atmospheric one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. It didn't fully vent. Poop. Alright, turn that back on. Alright, uh, which one do I need? It's the e-reader, I think. Nope. Didn't... Oh, wrong hand. There we go. Okay swap that back out and let's see here so i need the what am i looking for yeah see the muffin and all that can be made through a microwave but i need to make the microwave and i watched online and there's a um you put the microwave on a bench which is part of a furniture kit i believe i don't know that they're all that expensive but i don't know what machine I need to actually make it. Kit, 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 kit. Computer, consoles, logic, that's all electronic stuff. 
fabricator? It's probably a fabricator that I need. Um, yeah, see, like, the microwave is made out of a fabricator. Uh, chemi chemistry station reagent, all that stuff we need, but it's all fabricator. I'm wondering if I do a fabricator, do I even need this guy anymore, the auto lathe? Because I think they kind of do the same thing. One's just like the upgraded version. We got the hydroponic trays out of the way. Where's the fabricator kit? Because I need to know how to make that. Kit, fabricator, there we go. Um, wait, the fabricator's made out of fabricator? That doesn't make sense. Furnace. This doesn't. I'm. I'm confused on this. I don't have the ability to make fabricator. That doesn't seem right. Construction. Ah, there it is. Fabricator. Okay. So we need. Get this out of the way. Uh, we need fifty iron, five gold, and twenty copper. And I think I just burned through fifty iron. So that's lovely. Um, do I have more iron? I do. I have just enough. So, 50 iron, what was the rest? 5 gold and 20 copper, we should already have that. 8 gold and 4 copper, do I have more copper? Crap, so we are going to have to make a, a run for it. So I'm going to have to turn off the, if I can, I'm going to have to turn off the food just so that I can survive long enough to get this set up because I didn't prep for it ahead of time, I think. So, that's a thing. Alrighty, so I went and did my mining run and came back relatively okay. Um, I got a good amount of iron. Um, ironically, I didn't get much copper, which is actually what I needed, but I did get about 40 or so. Um, and as you can see, I'm in the process of venting this room, which was actually a byproduct of having to use my um, arc furnace, which gives off more gases and things. Um, I guess I probably should work harder at getting a furnace set up, probably. Um, but, like, I honestly just need to get to do more on this. I've been playing a lot of other games in my off time and stuff, and I might start doing some more off-camera personal just for fun, expanding the base, because we're not making a whole lot of progress, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I need to... It looks like we're, we're actually... Our world is completely empty at this point. And, yep, there it goes. So we have zero atmosphere, and at first I was like, oh, well, I need to fill it back up now that we've cleared the... And then I was like, wait a minute. I need to kind of, like, add an area for the um, hydroponics anyway, because it's going to have to have a separate... Um, a separate, um, whatchamacallit, atmosphere. So I was like, well, now that we've got this taken care of... Um, is it... This no, I guess I went under with the piping. Let's find out. Is it this frame? So yeah, without any atmosphere, now that we've vented it all into the tanks, I should be safe. To why is this not gone? Why is this wall frame not gone? Power low. Uh oh. Throw the wrench. Forgot about the power. Um, let's see here. Grab you, switch that out, there we go. Alright, so I'm thinking of going this way. Yeah, see, that's the one that's got all the wiring in it. Ah, poop. That one I have to actually do the welding torch with, don't I? Alright. Okay, so... Can I... Do I break this down with the crowbar or is it the grinder okay let's take the wall down and we're going to toss that off to the side now as for you oh why oh my you are larger than i expected okay uh it needs power and data Ooh. all right well this has been unexpected let me pull up the floor here I need to see where all my cabling and all that crap goes. We'll throw you over there. So we didn't do data, which doesn't really matter. We have a power conduit there, and we have power here. 
We could move all of this, though. Actually, you know what? I am going to move all that. I just realized this moved when I vented a bunch of, um, whatchamacallit, oxides, oxides, whatever the plural for that might be. I vented a bunch of those because I had a bunch in my tool belt, so my gas tank should be fuller now. But I vented a bunch, and I guess it moved that whole thing, so that's kind of funny. Uh, what tool do we use? Use this. You've still got iron in ya. Let's take that out. Uh, and I'll throw the autolave over here. I have a feeling the autolave is the precursor to the fabricator, so once you get the fabricator, there won't be a need for that. I'm kind of thinking. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Could be wrong. Probably am. But that's what I think. All right, now, what I want to do here is I want to actually move, uh, if I can, if I can move it, and I say if I can because that actually kind of looked like it might be larger. I guess that'll work. I guess that's okay. Um, hmm don't necessarily want to go in there because I need enough opening. Let's do it there. Right like that. And then we'll move this guy. Ow. Actually, we'll just leave it right there. That's fine. So we've got the import. We've got the latch there. Power button. Uh, looks like the power is right there. So there's that. Um, and we've got the... I know I keep doing one layer at a time but so we have this so this t-junction in this thing is no longer relevant in fact i might actually move the battery charger over somewhere else now why did it let me do it a second ago and then it didn't let me do it later there we go that uh, where can i put it here Hmm. It's letting it latch on, but not the way that I want it to. So I might still have to put it on the floor. Wait, I can put it right there? Really? How does it allow it to go there? That's weird. All right, whatever. Uh, maybe we'll put it over here. Assuming it can go... Why won't it go anywhere? This is really weird. This is really weird to me. I might just put it right here, because I don't feel like messing with it any further than I already have. Um, snip you. Throw you down. Uh, grab. Nope. Did, did not mean to do that. Alright. Uh, not a four-way corner. And I feel like I read that they changed some of this stuff as well. Okay, so that takes care of that. We can put the battery back over here. We can turn that back on so that can be charging. We can grab this stuff and we can throw you down here if I can ever remember what the key is and why it always does this. Why do you always have to center on the wrong way and why can't I rotate it? <clears throat> That's really annoying because it... It doesn't really give me a reason as to why it's doing it that way. It just always snaps up top, and when I spin it around... Um, well, now it's not even spinning around. There we go. Alright, so... You need to point it like this. There we go. That's what you do, apparently. Alright. So... Actually, I'm not done with that yet. Oh gosh. One of these days I'll actually do this efficiently. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to pause it and restructure all this. There's no point in taking up you guys' time with all this crap. Alrighty. So I've been tinkering with stuff and I've been doing okay, but I think I'm about out of resources again. Uh, mainly just because of a couple things. Predominantly copper, it seems. Um, copper seems to be a big kind of, um, 
linchpin that I'm missing for some of this stuff, for, for all the wiring and whatnot. I also might want to take a breather from this just so we can figure out exactly how to pipe this, because I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm not really sure. Why are you even still on? So, I got the fabricator made, but it was kind of funny because it wouldn't work. Um, and then I realized that it needs the computer because of what I saw on the interwebs on YouTube and stuff, uh, how other people had put it together. So what we did, or what I did here, is I've got the, um, I rewired this so that I've got the battery charger here, but then it goes to the data goes to the computer and to the fabricator as well as the power. And I've also think I also think that I figured out how to rotate this stuff as well. The one thing it doesn't tell you is use it to rotate up and down, but if you flip it sideways and then rotate it, uh, that's how you actually can get it back and forth. So with this, this is actually pretty cool the way that it does it. Um, let's see, I can't make any more cable. I wonder if I can make pipe in this or do I need to do something else so you turn the fabricator on turn the computer on and the computer does have a manufacturing motherboard in there and it'll detect this guy now ooh, I just thought of this hold up hold up I've got an idea there is no data there there's no data there so I'm gonna repurpose some of this cabling I think Think I don't need this one. It looks like um, I only have one cable I can actually repurpose, though. That kind of stinks. See, I need more copper so that I can make more cabling. I always run out of... I'm always, 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 always out of cable. Um, so the idea here is that if we hooked up the data of these two, which I wanted to confirm that I didn't actually have hooked up already, but if we had the data hooked up, then I could actually, in theory, run all of my construction through this. However, I don't have um, input shoots to where they could move to and from each other, because I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe if I ran shoots to um, this compartment area, the import side. Um, I think you can also do an export side, but I think then it would have just one big assembly line of parts is what I think is going on. But so what you can do is you can click um, add a new one, you can specify the amount, and then you can basically scroll through and find all the different stuff. And like right now, if I click cable, uh, if this is on, then it'll tell me that basically this now it's making one? What the heck? I thought it was... It says it's out. I guess there was a 0.5 in there left? That was interesting. I do apologize. I forgot to turn my phone off. I thought I had it off already for that little whistle in the background. But yeah, so that's how that works. And presumably, if we had everything hooked up, we would have fabricator... Um, and we would also have, you know, pipe bender and blah, 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 blah. So what I was going to look for is pipe, actually. Um, I don't know if it's under kit or construction kit or what. It looks like when you get to the kits, it actually organizes it by alphabetical of what it actually is. Oh, it is pipe. Okay. And what do I need? All right. So let's do four or two. Let's try two. No. Let's see. That should be that. Hmm. I was trying to keep it an even number, so let's just do six, maybe? Okay, so that's what it was. So the number went down, but according to how this reads it, um... I think the electronic one will read it as 21 and then 21, and then it drops to 20. This is reading it as, like, uh, 21 to 20, and then it stays on 20 a second time, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so, like, it'll go 19 and then 19, and the next one will go 18 and 18, and so on and so forth. Uh, but it goes on the back end, so it'll be 0 and 0 instead of 1, for the points. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. 
it, it sounded confusing in my head. Um, so I don't remember what all pipes I need. I'm just making some. Actually, that's probably good. Let's go ahead and stop it. Uh, and we'll turn these off. I don't know. I might have to make another solar panel. We seem to be doing a pretty decent power draw. Um, so I might have too many things going at this point. But what I'm doing here, this is a super basic um, one that I saw online for how to do like uber, uber basic hydroponics. Um, let's put a straight pipe there. And I think that's all that was necessary. I might have to run some wiring. Again, everything is wiring. I need so much cable. Um, but the idea here is we'll throw a vent. I think they had one more, actually. They'll throw a vent here, and you'll close this door, and you'll just dump ice in here and melt it down, and it should melt down into water. You have the vent pull the vent into the pipes, which then connects to the hydroponic trays, so it fills these up with water. And then you will close this, I think, and you'll open your waste valve, uh, the waste tank here, which as you can see is 92% full. It's giving me a warning, which should be mostly carbon dioxide. It may not be entirely carbon dioxide, but it should be mostly. Um, and then what that'll do is, because you need carbon dioxide for the plants to grow, so that'll give you carbon dioxide, the water in the pipes will hydrate them, and then you'll set the, um, then I think the, the way I saw it in the video was you'll turn your jetpack on and fly, and burning off the propellant will heat up the room, so that puts it in the right temperature. And at that point, these should start growing. Now, the only part I'm not sure about is how to properly set up this, um, uh, this room. I'm kind of thinking, here's, here's my thought process. So, like I said, I'm kind of out of supply, so I'm going to do some off-camera work, but it probably won't be this episode, so we're just going to go through the rest of the plan. Since we turned off hunger temporarily, we're not really hurting for anything, so we can kind of take our time and, and do a, a good job, and then it'll be about getting more materials and stuff. Now, the only bad thing with this setup is this is um, east and west facing this way, so when it comes up in the morning time until it gets to like high noon, uh, I'm not going to be getting any sunlight, which I don't think will hurt it, they just won't grow. So it's not really efficient, but you know, I can always change it later and, and stuff like that, but at least this will give us a temporary uh, way to get some food so that we can turn the food back on. Um, but how I'm thinking this should go, I don't know that it's the most efficient, but say this is closed. Um, and say this is closed. So here's my theory. If we have a pressurized room, like if I turn this vent on and we fill up the room again, if I open this, then the room fills with whatever pressure was over here, right? Kind of like this airlock does. And so in order to not waste things, this one dumps it back into this room and you leave. The only difference is we're leaving into a zero atmosphere environment, so we don't get any other gases back into this room, so we're not losing anything. This one, on the other hand, say this room is full of carbon dioxide. Well, when I shut this, and then I open this, whatever was in here is gonna flood into here, so it'll, like, 50%, 50%, it'll balance out. So, that's the only concern I have is if I vent this out into that room so that we're not contaminating the balance, every time I go to leave, even if I shut this door, whatever's left in this room, it's going to get vented back out into here when I open this, which won't really hurt per se, because I can always filter it out through the filter system, but we're losing the carbon dioxide that we're building up in here. So that's the only part that I'm like, eh, I'm not really sure how to properly do it. Um, I guess if I was doing it like quote air quotes, like the right way kind of thing, as far as the most op like most gas efficient way to do it, I guess would be to have one vent that's piped into this room 
and then one vent that's piped into this room. And then when we shut this door, we would pipe, we would empty the room into this. And then when we open this one, when we, yeah, there's a lot of when we open this one, we open that. So theory, if we were setting up like this and I had an active vent here, I would shut this door, turn this vent on, which pumps all the air back into this room. Open this up, go about my merry way, do my stuff. When I'm done, shut this door, but then turn this vent on and it pumps it back into that room. And then when you open this, then this atmosphere would flood back into here. I think that's the air quote right way to do it. Um, unfortunately, once again, we're going to need more copper and iron and some other stuff to make a second vent. And I don't know that it's 100% necessary since all we're really looking for in here is carbon dioxide, but if we have the temperature and everything balanced out and the atmosphere is right, um, you know, I'm, I'm concerned that that might screw some stuff up. So if I was looking at this floor plan here, we're going to need a spot for another vent. I could just put it in the corner over here, I guess. I don't really want to take up this space where the water's supposed to go. I could put it right here on the bottom, I suppose, because I'm trying to minimize the blocking of sunlight. So maybe right there on the bottom would work best. So how many uh, pipes did I have left? I only had two. I didn't make that many. So in theory, what do I need to move this guy? Okay, so in theory, if I was doing it this way, I would flip you around and put this here, and then we'll put one over here. Um, and you might have noticed as well that I didn't do um, I didn't do airlocks this time. I think airlocks auto cycle. I think that's why they're useful, but they're also more expensive. And I didn't want to do another console control and all this get up. So I figured this will be the simplest. It might not be the most efficient or the easiest, but it'll be the simplest. Um, and less resource intensive, which is honestly the bigger, bigger ball of wax. Um, so let's see, I would need to run it. Let's see if I can I pull off a four way. Do I have enough cable for that? Cool. So what I'm going to do is we'll do a four way cable Actually, uh, let's do a junction. Can I do a junction? No, I don't have enough cabling. But what I'll do is when I get enough cabling, it! I wish I could figure out how to move these things right. Okay, cable's the worst. So I would run a cable this way and then do straight cables all along here and then just put a corner cable. So let's put, actually I can go ahead and do that. Let's just put a corner cable right there and that's where our our other vent will go now hold up hold up hold up hold up i'm thinking out loud here but do i even need an active vent or could i use a passive vent i might be able to get away with a passive vent here because all it's really going to be used for now why can't i build you there will you not build on a window lovely you won't build on a window great of course you won't. Oh, wait. That'll do. I think. Will that work? Or will that dump stuff out into the air? Like, part of it out into the... I don't... I don't know if that'll work. Um, hmm. That's intriguing, actually. I How do I get this back, anyway? Do I use a wrench? Wrench. That... I don't know about that i mean this i could put it this way after i've done my water stuff yeah we'll put it right here and then run a pipe there i think i think that'll work and if that's the case then we can actually go ahead and corner this i think okay okay um actually i think i have another more efficient efficient way to do this. Of course, now that I've broke the thing, it won't let me mount it on anything. 
Um, what I'm thinking of doing is... Oh, yes I will. Okay, cool. Um, I can't go that low, but I can go like this. Stop it. Oh, hold up. Would it be better to go down? Like that? And run it along that way? It'd be more cable. I think this will be fine. Um, so what I'm looking for... Uh, I, I need cabling so that I can power the doors, so we do need it to run along the bottom. But a four-way corner would be... Would that be efficient or inefficient? Because what I need to do, I could run it out into the center. So maybe a three-way corner would be enough. Or not... Wait, no. A junction? I'm confused. This isn't working right. There we go. That's what I think I'm looking for. So we'll do that there, and then we'll do a junction here. And that would connect both vents, and then we'll just run a straight cable uh, or a junction type thing here, and we can do it that way. I think that'll work best. Something like this, and then we can do... Um, something like that, I think. Is that more junctions that I need? I'd have one, two, three. Yeah, it's still gonna it's still gonna come out in the wash. So um, I think we'll end up doing something like that, and that will work. And what I'm thinking is, um, in case that wasn't obvious, is when we put the vent down here. Come on, rotate for me. I don't know if I can do... Let me know in the comments if I can do that. If I can put it in the... I'd like to put it on the window, but it won't let me. Um, but if I can put it through the wall, I'll do that. I think it's going to let some of the air out, though, and it won't work. Um, did I put the pipes back? I didn't. Where did my pipes go? Um, what did I do with the pipe? <laughs> Seriously, where did they go? Did I lay them down already? Did I use them? I must have used them. Oh, there they are. They floated away. Weird. Alright, so what I'm thinking... If I could ever get these to rotate correctly... Um, okay, you won't go through a door. That ruins everything. Why does that not work? Well, that's annoying. That's annoying. Alright, so that won't work either. Crud. That was a waste of time. All right, well, you guys get the idea. Um, so basically, we're going to be attaching this somewhere that works. Um, and I'll probably end up... Oh, I could I could do this. I could do that, like, one up from there. It's not letting me because of the wall in the way, but I might be able to pull that off and then have the pipe go down and up. Anyways... Something to that effect, and I'm thinking we'll do... Because if I can actually go out and do some mining off-camera and stuff, and if I can get some more resources, then I can basically afford to do it uh, more efficiently, and we'll have the proper climate set up here, and we'll just vent it back in here when we're going to leave, and we'll vent this back in here when we're coming in. Because um, in theory, if this door is shut and I have my helmet and stuff on, because there's no oxygen, it should be all high, uh, carbon dioxide or whatever... Um, then, you know, I shouldn't be contaminating the atmosphere. It's just whatever the plants do to it. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. Um, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.